Hi. Hi, I am Dr. Narendra Kumar Tota. I am a medical oncologist, hemato oncologist, and bone marrow transplant specialist. Now I am going to discuss how a blood cancer can be diagnosed. Simplest blood test, which is called as hemogram or a complete blood picture, can give a diagnosis 90% of the times. Even though it cannot say which type of blood cancer, but it can definitely say a patient is having a blood cancer or not. It hardly costs around 500 to 700 rupees. This is the easiest, simplest, cheapest blood test which can give a diagnosis to the patients. The other latest investigations which are used for the diagnosis and prognostication. Prognostication means which can give information whether the patient is going to have a cure of the blood cancer or not. So there are a lot of new technologies are being developed but presently there are three important tests are being used for diagnosis of a blood cancer. The most important is a flow cytometry which can type the blood cancer and say whether it is a AML or a ALL. These are the large two different types of blood cancers which we see in practice. The next important investigations are molecular tests and chromosomal analysis. These are the latest tests which can give information that the patient can have a cure of the disease or not. And the latest one more investigation which is being developed is NGS, that is next generation sequencing test. Even though it is not routinely used in practice, but this is the latest investigation which we use in practice. Along with this, doctors do other investigations to look into other organs, how they are functioning. Suppose a patient of 50 years or 60 years patient come, we definitely tend to do cardiac screening by 2D echo or ECG. And we simultaneously to, to do other blood tests to look at how they are functioning. Thank you for watching.